Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to Viewer Emails, the ever popular segment on the Archie Luxury channel. And uh, yeah, I've got a really full mailbag, so please guys, keep your, uh, your emails coming in there. I've got some really good topics today. And before we begin... I just want to give my good friends at Esslinger a nice little plug. They've sent me a wonderful box of goodies, which I'm going to be reviewing very soon. So please, let's just have a quick tribute to Esslinger. Hello, I'm Archie Luxury, and let's have a look at some of the wonderful stock from Esslinger.com. So this is their website. They also have a fantastic YouTube channel. But let's have a look at the website today. And look at some of the... They've got watch parts, watch repair tools, jewelry tools, gemology tools, gemstones. They've got such a huge range of product. So let's have a look at watch repair tools. What have they got here? And they've got all sorts of parts from screwdrivers to gauges to back opening tools, watch back openers. And uh, they've got a great selection of tools. And Esslinger is Archie Luxury's first choice when it comes to horological tools and parts. And uh, they've got a great great range of items here and uh, I'm going to be doing more reviews so remember Esslinger.com for all your watch parts tools and accessories hope you've enjoyed this my good friends Esslinger fantastic guys for watch tools and accessories and please if there's anyone else who'd like to advertise on the Archie Luxury channel Please email me. My, my email address is in the description. And I gladly want to get some more advertising, some direct advertisers in. So please, I need some more sponsors. If you've got a business which you'd like Archie to promote, hey, send me an email and I tell you what, okay? I will plug your business for 50 bucks a month. That's right, $50 a month you get a placement in the weekly viewer emails and you get a few more placements. So 50 bucks, you get four placements in the Archie Luxury monthly uh, program. So 50 bucks a month, man, that's pretty good value. So please, if you've got a business and uh, you love the channel, this is a way you can get a tax deduction and help out old Archie. So let's go straight into the mailbag and let's have a look. Okay. This is from my good friend, uh, that Tristano, Tristano, TGV, 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 he's the guy who leaves a lot of comments. And uh, Tristano, on the screen you can see now, you can see some graphic art that he put together for me. Here's a few quick ones, let me know what you think, what kind of font colour schemes you like, I am happy to develop, develop or work with you. So hey, thank you so much Tristano. Okay, next email. This is from Michael Rubin, and uh, he's the president of Innovative Title Solutions in Illinois. Okay, good morning, Chicago time. I'm a big fan of your site. Can you tell me what you think of the IWC Portuguese Perpetual Calendar? I am falling hard for it and fast. Ha ha. If I shouldn't pull the trigger, if I shouldn't pull the trigger, or there is something else I should consider, please let me know. Thank you, Michael. Michael, the IWC. Traditionally, Archie hasn't been a huge IWC man, okay? I haven't. But that's mainly because I haven't managed to pick up IWC pieces at a great price. See, so, so that's, that's, you know, it's nothing... IWC had a few dogs where they used some ETA movements, but IWC does have some great pieces. And I have actually seen that piece, the, the Portuguese Perpetual Calendar Moon Phase. That's the one where it tells you the year. So it says 2013 and it rolls over. 
I have seen it in the flesh. What's my opinion of it? What's my opinion? It's a fucking fabulous wristwatch. They are a magnificent piece. And uh, second hand, what are, what are they, 30, 30 to 35,000 on the used market? Man, that is a lot of bang per buck for such a piece. If it was a Patek, you'd be paying a hell of a lot more. It's a big size watch. So, you know, that's all the fashion these days. And uh, IWC is a great, great brand. I think it's great value for money. I mean, I, I've got my annual calendar, right? So that's about 20. It's a bit cheaper than the, the IWC perpetual calendar. But, hey, i got to say, the IWC is a great way to go. I think you can do no wrong with that. That is a beautiful piece. Buy it. Treat it well and enjoy it, please, Michael. That, that's a magnificent piece. Okay, the, the, next, the next viewer email is from my good friend Descartes. And Descartes said to me, he said to me, Archie, it's okay if you swap the 5035 for the Rolex president. And I wrote back to him, Descartes, no, I wanted you to tell me to keep the 5035 annual calendar. I wanted you to threaten to end the friendship if I did such a swap. I wanted you to commence legal proceedings to stop such, such a stupid idea. Ah! You make such good sense. I have decided to think about it for a month. If I did do the swap, I have two questions. Would you get rid of the 5035 Patek or my 5107 Patek, as they are both similar purpose watches? Would you get a Rolex 118238 or an 18238? They both look similar, but the 18238 is five grand cheaper. Could you understand me if I decided not to proceed? Kindest regards, Archie. And Descartes came back. This is, a, this is the problem. There are too many nice pieces out there that fancy, that catch our fancy. If you were to just keep if you were to keep just one, I think it should be the annual calendar 5035. I think it will hold its value much better in the future. The 5035 has done some nice numbers at auctions, although in the last month there were two sales that came in far lower than I expected. That said, I fear that the new 39mm Calatrava is going to put the pricing pressure on the 5107 on the used market because everyone will want the bigger one. The un uncomplicated pieces take the biggest beatings over time. I would just wait a month or so. Maybe that Rolex will sell and the decision will be made for you. My guess is that one of the things that really is really attracting you to the Rolex is that it is so wearable. And the Pateks are not so much. So I think you should pick up a nice Submariner for everyday use. And that will get your mind off swapping one of your beautiful Pateks for the President. To be honest with you, I love my Patek. Uh, Descartes has got the 5110 in platinum, the world time. It's a gorgeous thing to behold, but once I slip on my GMT, or even one of my other Rolexes, I can't take it off. I really, really love the Rolex product. The quality, reliability, and even the style is hard to beat. I feel like the GMT is my watch, much more so than the Patek or any other one I have there. Very interesting comments there, Descartes, and uh, it makes it harder. Okay, now I'd just like to show you two stunners. These are two watches that Sydney Vintage Watches showed me last week. The first is the Rolex 118238. So this here is a fairly recent watch. It was sold new in 2006. It was sold in Sydney, so it's a local piece. The website's got 19,800, just under 20,000, and uh, it's a minty piece, factory diamond dial, box papers, everything, complete piece, it's stunner. This is the piece I would consider swapping for my annual calendar. So that's at Sydney Vintage Watches, that's 19,800. If you mention Archie, I'm sure they'll knock a little bit off for you. And the second piece is the, uh, the Lange Datagraph, which uh, was in platinum. And uh, I think it'd be in mid-40s. Uh, 
So I've got, snapped a few photos of it. The photos didn't turn out that great, unfortunately. I'm using a new camera and uh, it's hard using a macro setting in a poor lighting environment. But look, you get the idea. That's another wonderful piece. So there's two wonderful pieces that I recently saw at Sydney Vintage Watches. Okay, let's go on with the mailbag. And here we go. It goes, hi again, Archie. First of all, I'd like to make a small donation to your channel. I do not have PayPal, but I'm happy to transfer money to an, any Australian bank account. And I've sent him my bank details. If there's any other fans out there who would like to donate cash to Archie's bank account, just email me. My email address is in the description and I will flick you my bank details. Happy to accept all donations. I just purchased a second-hand 2008 Omega Seamaster and he, he quotes a reference number. This is the model with sapphire crystal coaxial caliber 2500 movement. I did initially want a man on the moon sea Speedmaster watch as, pre as per previous email, but I decided this one instead because I thought the deal was simply too good to pass up. It was sold to me for 1700 bucks. The watch is mint, comes with the entire packaging, box papers, manual, three cards including international warranty, blah, blah, blah. It also had a fresh $500 service at an Amiga dealer. Uh, it's 100% genuine. Now, unlike a lot of people in my age group, I do not think I totally rock with the Seamaster on my wrist or that I am James Bond. I fully appreciate where this watch stands in the pecking order of luxury watches. It's probably equivalent to a BMW 3 Series at best. Uh, and he goes on to say, here is where I'd like some advice from you. You have berated this particular watch in your various videos and for good reason. I feel slightly guilty having this watch as I know a lot of wearers of this watch give it such a bad name. So, what should I do now? Should I flick it and make a decent profit or should I see or do you see any value in keeping this watch for a couple of years? Do you predict that it holds its value well in the three to five years time? Um... I have to say 1700 I think is, I got tremendous value for money. It has something a little better than a standard ETA movement. Blah, blah, blah. It retails just above four grand. Another advantage of this watch is that it's quite fitting for my current status. Just like the man on the moon. Something more prestigious like a stub mariner would probably come across as a try-hard wanker snob. Or make people think that I am more than I actually do. What should I do? Thank you kindly in advance, Michael Q. Thank you, Michael. Well, look, number one, don't ever take what Archie says in his videos when he's slagging off watches as 100% gospel. I mean, I'm an entertainer. i got to get fucking viewers. i got to get fans. And uh, sometimes I've criticised some brands, but, you know... I'm starting to mellow as the Google Ads dollars are coming in. And I want to try and bag Omega as a sponsor in the not too distant future. So uh, I've got to say, in all honesty to you there, I think for a 25 year old man, that is a great piece. It's a quality watch. It's a really nice watch. I wouldn't look at selling it. It's not about profit. That's a beautiful watch you can own and enjoy. Don't sell it. Keep it. I would possibly add to that collection. You know, I, I think you're going to... I, I would enjoy that piece. One of the big mistakes I made in my life is I was a flipper. I flipped pieces all the time. I'd, I'd, I'd have this piece and I'd sell it and buy the next one. And I look back and think, shit... I've given away these, I've sold these pieces off, and e even my annual calendar, which, which I really, really, really love, I really love my annual calendar, I, you know, I'm thinking about flicking it again, and I'm thinking, hey, hang on a minute, Archie, this, you enjoyed your 40th birthday with this strap to your wrist, you, uh, you really love it, it's, it's, it, uh, you went to Sydney and there was this beautiful Asian sales assistant who, who was a, 
early 40s and had great breasts and she gave me a smile and a wink and you know it was the annual calendar that did that so you know you got to keep it oh, what I'm trying to say is look Michael it's a great watch Omega that Omega Seamaster is a fantastic watch you're a lucky man value for money if it's a minter, that's not a bad price. But it's not about the money. We're not here. I'm not, it's not the Archie Luxury Investment Show. This is to get enjoyment. What fucking makes you happy in this world, you know? And uh, in my case, I love a high-end piece. And uh, an Omega like that, if that makes you happy, and that's a great piece. It's a beautiful piece. If I was 25, you can be damn well, I'd be fucking proud to have that on my wrist. That's a great watch. You're above... 80% of Australians, okay? That's a fuck off watch. And, um, hey, hey, it's not my annual calendar. I mean, I'm Archie Luxury. But let's be honest, that's a good base to build to it. What I would do is down the track, I'd get myself a uh, Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon. I'd get myself a Submariner. Then I'd get myself a Reverso. And when you turn 40, you can get yourself a nice Patek I'd also, possibly at 35, I'd get a, uh, a Jega La Culture Reverso. So you've got a nice basis for a beautiful watch collection over time. And that's what it is. You've got to add to your collection. My collection with the Archie 5, you know, I don't have those earlier pieces. I flick them all off. And that's a great shame. And that's why I really don't want to flick off my annual. I don't want to flick off my white gold Calatrava or my Reverso, because they're special pieces. They mean a lot to me, those pieces. And uh, I love them to bits. And this is what it is. It's not just about having a watch, you know. It's the memories you tie to it. It's the enjoyment you have with it. And uh, there's nothing grander than having a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wristwatch and having, you know, 10 years of your life, you can look back on it and say, Oh, yes, I wore this annual calendar when I, that sexy little Asian girl smiled at me and let me have a cuddle. I wore that annual calendar when blah, 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 blah. And this is what it is. Life is about the memories. Before you know it, you're dead. So my answer is fucking have fun and enjoy yourself. And uh, thank you so much for looking up to me. But you've got to remember, I am a comedian. I'm an entertainer. And, you know, I, 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 I say some pretty fucking crass things. Looking back, you know, I've said some pretty mean things. But the Omega Seamaster, that is a fucking good watch. I'd be pr I would wear one, okay? If any viewers there want to donate one to Archie, I will proudly wear it. I'm Archie Luxury. I really appreciate all the viewers here. Thank you so much. And this has been Viewer Emails. <coughs> nice one, Archie. That you got a bit sentimental at the end there. <laughs>